Well, that's what's the crack. My name is RGJ Runner, and welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. Right, so we got to figure out what's wrong with Steph here. But just a quickie recap. So, Gabe is apparently dead. He died in a tragic accident. But knowing these games, he's probably going to come back from the dead as a war. And that he's not really dead. He's probably washed up somewhere. At least that's the vibe I'm getting. Because he didn't mention anything about recovering the body. Or maybe they did. Maybe it was done off screen. Who knows. But I still have my doubts. This game has a way of throwing curveballs at you. Nothing is really as it seems. So uh, yeah. That, that's my thought. Anyway. I don't think he's dead. No. Oh. We just examine the sword, 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 the home sword first. The sword, the it's sword. Is going to be part of a LARP would have been fun to see. I know it sucks. Okay, now what is it with this bottle? Foosball champion. Why would that make her so sad? Guess they probably had a foosball tournament and that was a makeshift trophy is what I can only assume. Definitely reflects the mood here. Or reflects Seth's mood at least. Now I can find out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. I suppose that is badass. Are there anything else? No, just the foosball table here. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait. Hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Ah, so she was going to leave this humble town. And move on to bigger and better things, maybe. He convinced her to stay. Oh, that's sweet. Damn it! Fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww. <laughs> Is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Everything here is a memory of Gabe, at least for her. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Okay, I think we've got enough information. I'll just have another quick walk around. Oh, shot glass. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. Ah, I was right. So she was going to move on to bigger and better things. And there seems to be a bit of a leak in my room. I should probably do something about that. Either about that or my floor is extra shiny over there for some reason. Okay. Right, Steph. Let's uh, have a heart to heart. Let's, let's see what's on your mind. Gabe really meant a lot to her. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still. I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. I will ask about the foosball, the most direct thing. Oh. 
Or, you know. Tell you we played. Yeah, we just say we had a hunch. I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Hey, come on, it's always a great time. That might have licked a bit of uh, storm cloud. Say so. He used the R two L two. Yeah, so use these buttons to win. Okay, cool. It was one cool. of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mhm. Mm oh shit! Shit! You were in a band, right? Yeah. Yes. What'd you play? Drums. How uh, how long did you play with them? Too long. Gotcha. Who? Cool. Come on, you don't send a ghost up a chance. And to be honest, I'm just hitting random buttons. Ah no! Steph, you're not even trying, are you? See, she didn't even try. Five points. Best game. Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. And this is a tough game skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? I could say the crowd loves me, but that might come off as a bit, you know, crass. Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. Oh, round two. Okay, so it's not over. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Oh, you should. Oh, good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time. Go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Yes, Slay Queen. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, damn it. Ah. Okay, now we're even. Okay, I think I, I got tangled with now. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'll let you win. Let's do one more game. I don't know. Oh, 
Come on. You know Gabe would never let its high stand. Well, then it's settled. Yeah, okay, just someone to say it's a champion. <laughs> this is it. For all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on. No matter what happens. Douche. So are you into girls or what? What? <laughs> Let's just say yeah, for shits and giggles. Yeah. Girls are pretty rad, right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations and oh, wear beanies. Shit. Like it's a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a winning combo. Oh come on, I gotta turn this around. Old enough to know better. Oh, oh that's so close. <laughs> it's not over yet. It's not over yet. And it's over. No. <laughs> You're a much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. Well, oh, that storm clouds after lifting now. It's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. Oh, you get the foosball championship cup trophy or whatever you want to call it. So, what are you going to do now? What do you mean? That shit with Matt. He's clearly lying, right? Uh, we need to learn more. May maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure what Matt's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank Aww. you. Thanks, bro, it homeo. means a lot. I should head back to work. Ah, that was nice. Maybe. I know Gabe made that call. But did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Uh, I don't know. There's lots of questions to be answered. Or there's a lot of questions that have been unanswered. I mean, I'm beginning to think that the statement I made at the beginning of the video was wrong. Where I said that he's not really dead. But maybe I could be wrong. Again to emphasize. Like these games do like to throw. A lot of curveballs at us. But nothing is as it seems. Is the point I'm trying to make. I've probably already re-emphasized that. Person. Yeah fair play to. You're a person. Oh, little shoo shoo. Thanks, shoo shoo. Thanks for sticking around. Get dressed, maybe, maybe not. What do we have to wear?
Eh, I'll go to wolf. It's cool. The Wolf Brothers. Kind of like uh, from Life is Strange 2. I guess this was also Gabe's. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. Okay, I guess I should just continue on. Wait, old TV dinner, is that mine? Or was it Gabe's? Compression fade. Ah, so we're just cleaning up the apartment a small bit. Sheesh, that's a lot to clean up. Have you not heard of cleaning as you go? It's Sorry, a start. just a little pet peeve of mine. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Exactly. I couldn't have said it better myself. Because I am a guy of very little words. Which is why you found, find this uh, whole YouTube thing pretty, pretty damn hard. Like, I find it very hard to talk about anything like I just feel like I'm stating the obvious in games like just just saying random things like oh look there's boats new and used just stating what's there I mean it's not that interesting well but look we do have notes here these could be interesting let's see Alex I'm having a small event for your brother tomorrow at 9 I'd love to have you there but no pressure okay you take all the time you need Jed Black Lantern Tavern. There's no greater meeting than a meeting over drinks. Oh, that's nice. Alex, let me know if you need any groceries. I'll cover the cost. Jed. God damn it, Jed. You are... Ah, you are a very lovely person. Thanks, Jed. I'm so sorry. Apartment's yours for as long as you need. You know where to find me if anything comes up. Jed. Damn it. Jed, you are an absolute freaking rock star, you know that? So I'm guessing Jed might own the apartment. Or at least he was renting it to Gabe for a time. Oh. Oh boy. Depression Central. Here we come. Yeah, I guess I should start cleaning up a small bit. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. One to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Matt. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. All right, we get it. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. 
But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. Oh, it's an attic key. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. Wait, what about rent? Oh, he's not going to charge me rent because he's a sweet guy. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. I don't know what to say. Hey, that was terrible. You shouldn't have seen that. I know you're going through a lot, but can we talk? I know it's asking a lot, but I think I really need to talk to you. Okay, and there's a few from Charlotte. There's two from Steph. Riley. Jesus, I'm only here a few days and they all have my number. Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcoming home here in Haven. I look very much forward or I look very much forward to our next meeting. Sincerely sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Ah, so these are from a few days ago. Okay. Yeah, I probably won't be paying a lot of attention to texts. Okay, Stephanie Egan Gritch. A year ago, I was ready to ditch this place, to keep moving like I always do. And a year ago, Gabe was the reason I stayed. But even though he's gone now, and even though I miss him, like hell, I still have reasons to stay. Thanks for showing me that, Alex. Even if your foosball skills could use some work. Yeah, no argument there. Mike Loudon deleted her comment. Oh. Also, oh, he's blocked. That's harsh. I'm having a send off for Gabe Chen at the Lantern on Wednesday. Ah. Oh. Okay. Hey, Jed. How you doing? No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. Then let's drink all your sorrows away. Hey, wait, rent check. Who pays for their alcohol with a check? Are you Gabe? <laughs> oh, he's a cheapskate. Anyway, Jed won't move out of my way, so I'll have to see if I can go around him. Wait, Caroline? RM Hearts TB. RM and TB. I wonder who they were. No idea. Hey, Jed, mind if I pop a free beer? Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Hold on. That'd be good. Might take a while, though. Yeah, this is going to make for a very interesting game. So far, it seems that we're just going to play the role of a detective and find out what happened to Gabe. Find out the real story. Find out if there was deceit and deception going on. Okay. Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. But I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Okay, we'll do that. Oh my god, we can actually do a bit of a slight jog here. That's something we couldn't do before in other Life is Strange games. It was always just a bit of a fast walk. Right, so where's that dispensary? I think it's 
No, it's not that. that that's a general store. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't think anything's really gonna change, right? It's hard to say. Yeah, because they won't tell us a damn thing. Oh, we can interact with this guy. I can't wrap my head around it. I was tight for eight years of my life, and they can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Python doesn't give a shit about anyone. I just hope the council passes. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Yes, you said that twice. Want to do something together next week? No. Sure. I have a pottery class Wednesday night. Want to join? No, I don't give a damn about your pottery class. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister. I am. Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Okay, weird. Didn't think a person of her caliber would be going into a dispensary. Ooh. Look at all those herbal accessories. Charlotte? Alex? Hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. Eh, I'm okay as I can be, but I'm more concerned about that letter you're looking longingly at. I'm okay. Keeping my chin up. Sometimes that's all you can do. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. Is he all right? He practically just lost father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. That's he just needs time, but I guess he's feeling a lot of guilt as well. That's the conclusion Everyone I'm coming to. Differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death Gabe. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. Ooh, that's, that is uh, shady. Very, very shady. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're right. He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you going to sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? That's 
it's really putting me on the spot. I mean, in the one hand, the money could be used for a lot of good, at least for Ethan. In the other hand, or on the other hand, it kind of seems like a betrayal of Gabe of sorts. But the only one who'd be able to answer that would be Gabe himself. Ooh. And it would come off as really bitchy if I said to turn down the offer, but you know what, fuck it. Take the money. It seems to be the best path to go down. You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy. But Ethan should come first. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Can I get some kush? Yeah, okay. The good kush. Glass pipes are so cool. They're like works of art that can also get you high. Mm. Yes, it took you a while to practice that, did it? Wow, that's freaky. That was a little awkward. That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. Anyway, yeah, cool story, bro. Now, how about we get some of that good kush? These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Jean out of business. Hmm. I guess it's really pretty good. We could definitely go for a few of these. Maybe a bit of marijuana tea. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Yeah, no, it seems Charlotte's weird. Dedication to her art is so inspiring. Lucas, those are cool. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. I used one of those before ages ago. There used to be like a place in New York City. It was like a bit of a hookah bar, but it wasn't actual marijuana. I think it was just like regular tobacco. A cool thing to try out. But I'm not sure if that place is there anymore because I think those types of places became illegal. Oh. I still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Oh, no, that was interesting. What was going on there? Gotta check this out. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep schedule's fucked. Talk about the accident? How would I know that? Fuck, now I'm on Diana's shit list. Thanks, Diane. Oh, so she's up to no good. I knew it. I knew that there was something dodgy about her. Okay, now where's that flower shop? It's definitely not up this way. I mean, heck, everywhere around here looks like a damn flower shop. But it's also so scenic and pretty. It's definitely more open world than the previous games sorry about today Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time oh she did okay well I'll do that scene as I'm here Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah, probably in her recording studio here. Yeah, 
Yeah, there she is rocking out. God, I'd like to have foam padding like that because it, it's kind of like the stereotypical markings of a YouTuber. Like nearly everybody back in the day had foam padding, but now content creators are big enough where they can actually afford to have like fully foam padded rooms like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, they've got foam padding everywhere on every wall. But because of my room, I can't put it on the walls because it would destroy the paint. I tried to do it before, I tried to put some foam padding on the walls in front of me and what ended up happening was it ended up peeling off, taking the paint with it and just leaving nasty marks. So I eventually decided to take it down and then I discovered NVIDIA Broadcast a few a few weeks ago. So it dampens the sound a small bit but you can still hear a bit of an echo. I don't know if I ever get get a decent place, a better place than this one, I would consider putting foam padding around, around the walls. Just for better sound quality. I mean, I could get a better mic as well, but I think the Blue Yeti, for the size of my channel, I think it's good enough. I don't see the point in investing in very expensive equipment if there's no payoff in the immediate future. I mean, sure, it, it looks cool, but yeah. Okay, will you knock on the damn window? Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but have you talked to Ethan at all? What? 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 Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. That freaking sucks. Oh, no. Oh, dude. That is the first time I've ever encountered an error like that before. I've never had a game on the PS5 or a PS4 game on the PS5 crash on me like this. Wait, no, it's a PS5 game on a PS5. Sorry, it's a PS5 version of Life is Strange. Uh, true Colors. Look, I have to go over here. Jeez, I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> that was that was weird. Um, how long have I been recording for? 40 minutes. I'll go for another bit because I don't think I've covered enough. Oh, thank God it all saved here. I thought I was going to have to go through the whole segment again. Because when I started chapter 2, or when I started this video, I had to go through the whole segment, or the opening of chapter 2 again, and it dragged. It's the one pet peeve I have about this game, is that you can't skip cutscenes, even if you've already seen them. Kind of annoying, but if that's the only thing that's wrong with the game, I'd say, I'd say, eh, whatever. Nah, not to mention the, the bug, but that's neither here nor there. Probably just a once-off thing, hopefully. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that, too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a lark. Like the one you and Gabe were going to take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him in Thanor. Oh, that's a very good idea. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Previous Lord of the Underworld or Storm Rider? The Ooh, both are good choices, but I'd say Storm Rider, the undead. Storm Rider looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my cop book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. 
Ah, I've already got stuck with that. And here I thought I could avoid all that LARPing stuff. I didn't like it in Life is Strange um, before the storm, and I don't really like it now. Oh, Steph, I love your humor. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Okay, Alex, fill in your character. The bard, name blank, race elf, class bard, abilities, distortion field, or healing serenade. Level 1, health points 10. How did you meet Thanor? Guess yeah. I'm in. Let's start with my... <sighs> Alto. Yes, Alexandra seems a bit plain. Alto is a good name for a bard. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Oh yeah, definitely healing serenade. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? Mm -mm, definitely a heroic story. Definitely sounds like me. It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. Okay, cool. Are we done now? What did the sign say? Long haired hippie or long haired. Heavy people need not apply. Helpful. Be back in five or ten, maybe fifteen. Oh, so she's running the radio station and the store at the same time. Well, she's fair use. Oh, he made another comic. Cool. Oh, and look, it's the little cat Valkyrie. Val, I just want to be friends. Oh, you look like my cat. And boy, God, is she old. She's 17. Very proud of that fact. I'm a very proud cat dad. Yes, yeah, so you don't expect cats to live that long. But, um... Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. But, yeah, as I was saying, you don't expect cats to live that long, but 17, dad is old but she is still going strong even though uh, she had a little bit of a run-in with another cat where she was bit the bike got infected so we to bring her to the vet get that looked at sorted out she walked that off like a freaking champ well with the help of medication of course Yeah, she is still a fighty, flighty cat. Right, now where is that flower shop? Oh, 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 frame skip, that's not good. That's not good at all. Jesus, I barely know where anything is here. That's a general store. Silver Dragon Haven Drugs. It's fine. I love being on hold. I love this song. Finally. Have I passed it out? Do people just get truth from Mac now? Sight see later. Maybe we will be able to scrape by. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I did pass it. Freaking moron.
Oh, where are you? Elena? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Roderick just oh. died. How do you think I feel? I'm, um... Adjusting. Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Well, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Now, what was that? Oh. Hmm. Some spooky things are going on now. Yeah, what she is up with her? Terrified. I can't leave her like this. No. All right. So, what ails you? Is a feeder of the till. Oh, my memories, my memories are fading. I feel, I feel broken. Oh, she has a bout of amnesia. Maybe the doctor said I had more time. Everything is becoming so, so out of out order. order. Oh, I don't know. Alzheimer's, yes. If they know if they about, know my, about condition, my condition, they'll make me close, this, me place. close this place. That's rough. Okay, anything else? Any other clues? Oh, what's this? Okay, I can't interact with that yet. There's, there's nothing else here. How does she hide all of this? Something here. Ah, yeah, there's a few more things out here. Jeez, the symbolism that's going on here. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. 
she's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Okay, I like how the actual world reflects the thoughts and feelings of the person. Like, I, I like how our powers can reveal that. That is pretty unique, pretty, pretty nifty. I like it. Like, it's a whole sort of reflection of what's going on in the afflicted person's mind. Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Uh, retrace your steps. That might be the best way. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> ah, now you're grand. Please. I, I want to help. I think so. Or at least maybe. Did you trim these flowers today? No, you look dead. I don't remember. No. Count the cash. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, besides, I'm here to help. That's what I do. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Yeah, it was me. Better. <clears throat> We can do this. Maybe this might be the second one? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Oh, okay. Maybe the flowers then. Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. Okay, I think we're pretty much done out here. So what about inside the office, maybe? Did anything happen with Riley? I don't know. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Beat dial, maybe? I wonder who called. Something to do with Riley, maybe? Possibly. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. 
she called to tell me about a new order. Goodness, what was the order for? Flowers, I assume. Rush ah. order. This must be what Riley came in for. Okay. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Yes, now it's all coming together. Of course. Riley helped me pick them up before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. Something to do with the jumper there? No? Clues around here? Check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Ah, there we go. Mystery, Mystery solved. Huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. See the. Fog's cleared. I knew you figured it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex, you're a godsend. Ah, any time, Toots. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. <sighs> she doesn't remember. You know what? She's a lovely woman. I'll spare her the pain. You know Jed. Probably doesn't know the difference between a lily and a tulip. <laughs> Don't sell him short. He's more clever than he seems. Thanks again for your help. Don't be a stranger. Can't oh, make any promises promise. about that. Oh. She was finally feeling better. I didn't want to ruin that. I could just take one more la one more look at the snow before that I go. Is still bad to the gnome. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what Gabe said What's about that? him. Oh, nothing. Just something funny Gabe said. That poor him is jokes. <laughs> All right, how long have I been recording for now? B -b 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 a little over an hour. Damn, I didn't think there'd be so many side tasks and quests in in this game that would get me so uh, sidetracked from the main story. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's good. It keeps me on, on my toes. It makes the world a bit bigger. It gives me more to do. We get to see more people, see the different NPCs, see how they interact with each other. And we all come together as a big, happy family in this lovely, happy haven town of ours. And it is a nice place. Like I just love all the set pieces and how colourful and vibrant it is compared to the last few games. Eleanor Not that they were bad by... Is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Right, got a text. Anyone have any good advice for taming stray cats? Found this cutie in my trash cans, but he's a crazy pants. Yeah, give him lots of food. Okay, okay, like I said, um, the previous games aren't bad in comparison to this one. This is just a huge step up, is what I'm saying. I mean, look, Look at this, you didn't get as much of a, let's, let's, how, how to say, you didn't get as much scenery in the previous games as you do in this, 
and it wasn't open world or as open world compared to this game like there's a lot more going on there's different things going on in the background with the other games you're confined to a very small space you're going from point a to point b at least with this you can visit different shops interact with different npcs see how they're feeling with your special powers if that option is available or if the uh option presents itself so yeah they definitely took the game in a whole new different direction a lot more avenues to explore areas to go but yeah overall it's just a better looking game by comparison and they took a huge risk with this square enix did in deck 9 Especially when it comes to Life is Strange 2, because that game was pretty phenomenal. It had a very gripping story, especially how it was based around the 2016 events, you know, with Trump and the whole sort of rise of racism in America. Although I don't think there was a rise in racism, I just think that there was a better uh, spotlight put on it. Is the way I am feeling. It's like racism is, is there and probably always exists, unfortunately, but it's. That's some something we had to try and combat at some point what what whatever though what, what, whatever don't be racist is a point i'm trying to make how did i get from that to like complimenting the shit out of this game and just gushing over it holy crap but yeah either way like i said pretty game pretty good story pretty compelling and like i said it's probably going to throw a huge curveball once we get to the end maybe just maybe maybe gabe might come back who knows uh, but Either way, guys, enough rambling for me. You know what to do. If you did enjoy this video by some freaking miracle, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, share, and of course, like always, I'll see you in the next one. So, on to the next time. See ya.